driving around earlier, I heard something on the radio. Uh, it was a guy who was, they were playing a preacher on the local Christian station. I don't, I don't know his name. I didn't catch it, but he said something that really sort of, sort of, I really like, so I'm going to sort of sh share it with y'all. Um, it really sort of hit me as a dad. It hit me kind of hard to think about it. It was a a cool thought. So here, here it goes. And to start off, I'll give you sort of the so it's a backstory. I got two boys, one's seven, one's two and a half ish. So I got a couple of kids. Both boys, they're both walking, they're both running, they're both hyper little things, right? Um, that's not really the point though. Uh, the point I'm getting to, the point he got to, it simply is. I can remember back when they, I can remember both of them when they were learning to walk. Um, like their first steps. Any any of you have kids know what I'm talking about. Those first steps where you know, you know they're gonna fall. You know they're gonna fall flat on their face or on the booty or something. They're gonna fall down. They're gonna fail at walking. It's gonna happen. And you know it's gonna happen. And they take that first step, and then maybe they take a second step. Maybe they make it to a third, who knows? But then they fall. How many of us as fathers, as mothers, as parents, when our kids fell in that situation, immediately began to scold them for falling? How dare you fall? How dare you fail? Was that anybody's response? No. What did we say? We said, good job. Good job. Way to go. Try again. Keep going. We encourage them to continue to try to walk. walking in a great way. He described walking as you know, when you're standing, you're in a comfort zone, you're safe, you're not you're not apt to fall over. But as soon as you pick up one foot and move it to try to walk, you're out of your comfort zone. You know, you're on one foot, you're balancing. And so walking, he described, is taking a step of faith from one comfort zone to the next. Which I thought was kind of cool. Um, and he went on to talk about the fact that, you know, we often talk, we talk about the Christian walk. You know, that's a term that gets used a lot. Um, and it's biblical. Biblical what the term to use, because in the Bible, walking with God is mentioned a lot. Um, you know, Elijah walked with God. Jesus tells us to walk with God. That's a, a motif, a theme that runs throughout Scripture. So walking with God is not, you know, unbiblical concept, and I think there's a reason that the word walk is used, and this guy hit on a really good one, you know, because he was saying that we as human fathers, when we see our kids try to walk, and they stumble, and they fall, and they fail, our response is to celebrate the victory they had, and to encourage them to try again, to keep going, to not give up. so must our Heavenly Father, when He sees us trying to walk the Christian walk, trying to do, trying to be obedient to Him, trying to be faithful to what He's commanded, trying to be who we're meant to be, and learning what it is to be a Christian. How many of us fail? I fail. Um, I'm fairly certain everyone who's listening to this and who's watching this has in the past failed could be failing right this minute, and I guarantee you, you're going to fail in the future. You're going to fall. You're going you're to make a mistake in the Christian walk. You're going to fall down. But what an encouragement to you and to me and to all of us it is to know that when we fall down in the Christian walk, when we go to take that step of faith and we get off balance and we fall down on our behind. God's not going to 
Pelicans, and I didn't hear the name of the guy who had who they were playing. I wish I had, because I would have given, you know, found the clip or something. But it's a great thought. Um, it's a great encouragement. It, it just spoke to me, so I wanted to share it with y'all. Um, so this is my thoughts on that concept, and I hope you all have a blessed day.